welcome back once again. When God called Joshua to lead the people into the promised land, three times God had to tell Joshua, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. It was because there was going to be challenges. There was going to be attacks. There was going to be issues. There was going to be problems. And that is why God told Joshua, listen, do not be afraid. Just follow my command, follow my voice, and I will lead you and guide you, and I will be with you. Many times when we go through certain challenges, it's because the enemy knows that you are supposed to go to the next level, that you are entering into this new season, that you are entering into the promised land. So the enemy will do whatever it takes to stop you from going forward. He will bring the worst kind of attacks. In fact, attacks that you have never faced before. Maybe it can be new problems. It can be accusations. It can be new sorts of challenges that you have never had to go through. But that's because the enemy is afraid. He knows that you are entering the promised land. He knows that you are shifting in your anointing. He knows that you are getting into another dimension. So he is doing whatever it takes to stop you from entering into that promised land, from entering into the new season. So when the challenges get intense, your dependency on God should even go deeper because it's the enemy's way to pull you down, to stop you, to make you want to give up. Just remember, when the battle gets intense, that is when you have to not give up. Everything in you wants to give up. Everything in you wants to go back to where it was. Everything in you wants to go back to Egypt, wants to go back to the old mindset. But child of God, that's when you have to stay strong and courageous. Moses was not able to enter the promised land because of his disobedience. But Joshua was the one that God called to lead the people into the promised land. And Joshua had a glimpse of who he had to deal with. He had an idea because he was behind the scenes assisting Moses and he knew that this was a stubborn people. They were stiff-necked people. They were fickle-minded. They changed their mind like changing clothes. One day they had the fear of God. Another day they were complaining against God. So he knew what he was getting into. And that is why God had to assure him and tell him, Joshua, do not be afraid for I am with you. When David was anointed as king, he had to face many adversaries. He had to face wild animals. He had to face the giant that he has never faced before. He had to face King Saul who was after his life. And still through all those situations, he did not give up. And more than anything, his own son went against him, but still he did not give up. He did not say, God, I cannot do this. I do not want to be a king anymore because if these battles are too intense. People are nonstop fighting against me. My life is in danger. But he knew who has called him. He knew who was with him. When the battle became intense, he knew that that is when he needed to stay strong and courageous and he did not give up. And just like that child of God, we need to be strong. We need to see the end result. We cannot give up when adversaries and challenges come our way. Yes, I know you feel like it is too much, but be strong and courageous because I believe that the Lord is taking you to a new season. When God send revival in the New Testament, when they experience the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Things were not smooth. Disciples had to face challenges. They had to go in front of synagogues. They had to face the leaders. They were being questioned, but still they 
were bold and strong and in fact they were lives were in danger they still did not give up they knew that this was the assignment that god had called them so child of god i just want to encourage you if you are going through challenges it's not because you have lost favor from god or you are not loved by god or is because the lord has forsaken you it's only because the enemy is threatened by you the enemy is threatened that you are shifting that you are entering the promised land and he is doing whatever it takes to pull you down so understand that this is the work of the enemy that is discouraging you that is dragging you down that is making you want to drown into the ocean of sadness so child of god don't give up stay strong rise above your situation and know who has called you and know who is with you and may the peace of god reign in your heart and i just want to pray with you heavenly father i pray right now for your people lord as your people are moving or oh, i'm seeing a vision like a rocket some people are going to take off like a rocket and just because of that that is why you are having unnecessary battles it can be different sorts of challenges maybe your health maybe your finances maybe your family life but child of god i just want to encourage you stay strong and courageous and father i pray that you will give them the grace to sustain them lord just like you helped king david just like you helped joshua just like you helped the people in the bible lord i pray that the same grace will lead them and guide them and to give them the grace to face all these challenges and adversity father and i pray holy spirit give them divine strength supernatural strength that they will rise above their situation lord and i pray holy spirit that they will fly they will soar they will take off this year like never before lord jesus i thank you for the grace lord i thank you for your presence i thank you for your strength in jesus name we pray. pray amen and amen i hope you have a blessed week may the strength of the lord be with you and may the peace of god reign your hearts blessings shalom